I don't catch dives. If you're going to jump out of a ring and try to attack me, I'm moving every time. I do not catch dives, nor will I ever catch a dive on purpose, because dives are stupid. What's going on, everybody? This is Dr. Chris Featherstone here for yet another episode of the Wrestling Outlaws. I'm here with two straight shooters, ladies and gentlemen. Mm. And you might as well call me the sheriff. We have straight shooter EC3, former TNA World Heavyweight Champion. We have the straight shooter outlaw Vince Russo, former WCW World Heavyweight Champion. Ladies and gentlemen, they are locked, stocked, and barreled and ready to go. Speaking of that, ladies and gentlemen, let's, let's lock in and talk about our first subject for the night. Very, very interesting. This is for my buddy, the digger, EC3, and he had a match at N, uh, NWA that was mm -hmm. enough said. Enough said. Uh, enough said uh, uh, event that, that, that recently just happened. EC3 as an NWA uh, competitor, you oh, see that? You see that wound? You see that wow. battle scar right there? Enough said, ladies Enough and said. gentlemen. Wow. Enough, Enough said. said. On that giant, big old loving schnoz. Mm. Yes, I did. I had a match at uh, Enough said, and I was victorious. Indeed, he won. Absolutely. He had a match against Alex Riley. Uh, so. Kevin Kiley. Kevin yes. Kiley, Alex Riley. Yes, indeed. indeed. Formerly well, known as Alex Riley in uh, WWE. So, you be yeah. watching at home. Uh, Dr. Chris and I were about to start talking about this off air because he knows Kevin. Mm -hmm. I know him very, very well, but I'm like, well, let's just let it ride. Yeah, yeah. Let's, uh, let's just talk about it raw, man. So <clears throat> I'm friends with Kevin, and, uh, you know, EC3, of course, knows him, and I'm, I'm, I'm good buddies with Kevin. I actually just talked to talked to him last night, <laughs> and, uh, you know, he, he, he told me his thoughts about – the ending and 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 you know things like that as far as just how he felt so you're saying it wasn't a botch before we get there if he's still harping on this ending i i don't know what to do with him because the only reason that match took place was via my recommendation via my invite via my ability to rescue another lost soul, a casualty of this industry, someone who has pts wwe somebody who's went through true true journey in life the darkest and deepest possibilities that is the reality that's what infatuated me with this story and you know i'll, I'll speak i don't like using the word k vibe but like i'm going to speak very realistic about it if he said anything where he's harping on that negative in his mind in his mind where he lives where i'm trying to break his ass free of i'm going to flip out because I, we, I believe we had a five-star match. Are we so talking about Das Wonder Kid? Is that what we're talking about? Alex Wright? No. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> he does resemble him. <laughs> Go ahead, you see. Okay, I'm, I'm hypercritical. I am a psychopath. I am, like, dialed in and, like, kid. I can never find satisfaction in anything because I'm always thinking of what's negative. But I thought that was absolutely the most perfect thing that could have happened in that match, in that story for him. And it's up to him to be able to have the courage and bravery. He had the courage and bravery to step in the ring one more time, but to tell that story because now he's living inside his head. He's yeah. raiding around these negative thoughts that he had a botch. Define a botch for me, somebody. What is a botch? I'm sure the marks would know. Uh, they would. Yeah. Yes, the way I look at it, botchamania, shout out Matthew, my boy, is yeah. to pinpoint and isolate and have a little haha -ha mm -hmm. at mistakes mm -hmm. at things that were supposed to happen but didn't exactly happen as planned yeah. and from the reality of that match he was supposed to eat get the dump button ready he was supposed to eat sh the whole intention of that story i wanted to tell well, it's him not knowing who he is. Where am I? Why am I doing this? I don't belong here. This has passed me by. But to find his motivation, to find his fight throughout the match, to then finally see the semblance of what he could have been, ascending to who he should be, go jumping out of the ring, and then eat Flat on his face, fall, fail completely. 
devastated, ruined hopes, dreams. That was the story. And I know he's so upset because his little toe hit the top rope so he didn't sky it like the athlete he was. But at the same time, that's why it's perfect because it was imperfect. Because I was always going to, li listen, someone dared to call me like a mi the, mi the Miz because I get out of the way of dives. I don't catch dives. If you're going to jump out of a ring and try to attack me, I'm moving every time. I do not catch dives. No, will I ever catch a dive on purpose because dives are stupid. Look what happens. Okay. Flat his face. I was always going to watch him fall. Boom. Smash his face, crush his hand, hurt his ribs. I was going to roll his prone dead ass back in the ring and I was going to beat him. That was the plan. So if he's still upset and calling that a butch, he he's missing the point. Very, very wow, that's very strong. Very strong. Very, very strong. I'm just <laughs> because, and then the perception of fans is like, oh, just because he was jumping out of the ring, he was supposed to land on me. Like you don't know. So why is it a five star match? Good question. Because you got worked. Fools, <laughs> you got marks, you got worked. And why was it a five-star match? Couple reasons. One, people were like, what is he doing here? He doesn't look the part. By the beginning of that match, they're laughing at him, calling him a gym coach and things like that. And as I saw that audience throughout the match get behind him at the mm -hmm. end, they were like, man, you know what? Good try. You, you know what? That's, that's some hope and some motivation in that. Five stars right there. Why else was it a five-star match? Because his significant others saw him wrestle for the very first time something she didn't really know much about him and his life seeing him relive it try to recapture something out of it she was so proud of him hmm. five star emotion okay so it was a five star match and it's a five star match if i win each and every time so wow wow very, wow. Good. very nice man very nice <laughs>